happy last day of August and first day of school. I'm super excited to go to all of my classes today. This morning, I'm at Fletcher's dorm. Babysitting and that meeting thing ended up being canceled. So, I decided to stay with Fletcher. Unfortunately, the fire alarm just had to go off twice. I was half asleep walking out of the building. Anyways, Fletcher and I are headed out to Starbucks. I have class soon. Wait, is Starbucks even open? Okay, it is. Fletcher says it's open at 7.30 a.m. and a date. All right, I gotta go, but I'll try to write more before the end of the day. So it's currently 8.56 a.m. and my first class is at 10. So I got my Starbucks with Fletcher. Here's a nice little cute picture that we took when we were outside of the Starbucks because it's our first day. And I just, I got some things to do before I go to class, which is pretty much nothing. I'm just going to eat a bowl of cereal and then I'm ready to go because I'm already dressed and I just got to pack up my bag up. So, I am not going to be filming in my class, but I will be taking my handy dandy journal. So, if anything does happen, or I feel uncomfortable, or I feel stressed, or I feel really excited, or anything happens that I feel like I want to include in this video, I will be adding it in as a diary entry. <laughs> camera it's auto focusing did it just focus how did that happen I'm gonna leave my camera here while I go to classes so I will see you around 12 15 ish let me take my glasses off so you can actually see me. I'm standing in front of the window, but I just got back from my classes. My I had three classes, which the third one I was a little bit confused about how it was a class because it seemed like everyone in the major was there. But I don't know. I've been dealing with like heartburn. Like I've been dealing with like like I'm just stressed. Like I'm just so nervous and scared and like I don't know what to expect and and like uh, I, I look at like my teachers and I look at the people around me and I feel like everyone is doing so good and everyone is like you know so advanced and I feel like I have to play catch up which is completely fine you know everyone starts somewhere but it's just like I really want to be good at this and I really want to succeed in music and I just it's like I'm so excited but I'm so nervous and it's all causing like chest pain like I don't know if emotions can cause physical pain but that's what I feel like is happening <sighs> and I haven't eaten anything like greasy or anything I had a salad for lunch and I I had coffee earlier I don't know if coffee can cause heartburn but <gasps> oh my god I haven't been taking my acid reflux medicine okay I might have to fill up my medicine tray in a second but let me just say I am so excited to you know go to my next class which is jubilee and it's not until 5 p.m so i have some time to spare which i'll probably do editing the beginning of this video and i'm just i'm just excited i'm just excited i don't know what else to say i'm just excited <laughs> My name is Mercedes Helford and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In this section, we're going to be talking about next banana and my experience with birth control so far. I do have to go to class in an hour, so I'm going to try to make this quick and just talk about it without any delay, you know? So let's just hop right into it. One week ago, I got the next one on. It's in my arm right here it's healing pretty nicely I can feel it right here it's like a little rod and this is where it was inserted at and this bruise right here I don't know if you can even see was where my old Nexplanon it was so I had Nexplanon previously for about a year and a half and I ended up getting it removed early because it was causing like a lot of 
emotions and I just couldn't handle it and I just needed a break so over the summer I let my body kind of like go back to its natural cycle and its natural like mood shifts and stuff like that and at the end of the summer I got the next one on back this is what I've experienced in the past week so on August 24th I went to OBGYN to get my next one on. I'm 18 so I was able to go without my parent but I think in my state you can go at 16 without a parent as well but I'm really not sure. Um, I went there, they you know checked all my files, my papers and everything. Then I went into the bathroom, I peed in a cup because they have to check to make sure you're not pregnant before you get the next one on inserted because of course with any birth control if you're pregnant you cannot get it. So um, so glad I was not pregos which I already knew that and I was able to get the next one on put in right away. I went in there and I put on this little outfit like little you know kind of like a gown of some sort and I just laid down put my arm out like this they took a needle just you know a normal needle and um, I forget what was in it but I'm pretty sure it was lidocaine I, I don't really know so don't take me seriously on that point but it was some numbing you know shot they put it in my arm when they put that in it burns I want to just that's the worst part the worst part of getting the next one on is literally it burns when they you know give you the numbing stuff but once that's over I swear my arm went so numb she like took a another like needle or something and she was like poking at me and she was like do you feel this do you feel this like right now I'm poking myself and I feel it and it like hurts actually but when she was poking me I felt nothing like I felt the pressure but I really didn't feel any pain at all like no pain so yeah that shot is wonders it works wonders so um I don't care if you're afraid of needles you're gonna be more afraid of getting the next one on without that numbing thing after that she took like a little device of some sort and kind of like it like laid it on my arm like that and then kind of went like choop, and then it's it went in that it did hurt a little bit but like not as bad as it would have if I didn't have the numbing stuff like it was it really felt like a pinch you know so that was in once it was in she wrapped it around with some bandages if you watch previous videos like if you go back to um, a video there's one video where I had I think I titled it birth control um, yeah I was wearing the little bl a blue like wrap around it and my doctor told me to leave that on for 24 hours but I think I left it on or she told me to leave it on for two hours but I left it on for 24 hours and then to replace the band-aid you know as needed uh, at some point I started to forget to replace the band-aid so now it's just you know a scab which is good because that means it's healing as for some things that were changing once I got the next one on, so in the past week I've definitely noticed mood shifts and mood changes. And you know, it's not PMS because I got the next one on right during I got the next one on during my period. So it wasn't PMS. I'm nowhere near my next period. I was feeling, you know, really irritable one day and then I was very, you know, insecure the next day, sad the next day. I felt like emotions were just peaking, you know, peaking. As for physical symptoms, I have noticed a few things. One, headaches. I've been getting headaches. It doesn't matter how much water I drink. Uh, if it's hot outside, if it's hot in my room, if it's, um literally anything if I'm watching TV for too long it's like the, the most like smallest things are causing the headaches but I really do think it's the next one on that's like kickstart in it the next thing I've noticed is I'm either extremely hot or extremely cold like right now I'm straight overheating like I was in my class earlier and I saw this girl putting on her jacket and I was like oh my god like how is she put on her jacket like it is hot in here it is very hot in here but no I think it's just me I think it's just me like in in some places it does feel cooler but even still like I feel really warm the air literally just came on right after I said that it was hot in here and that I was experiencing like kind of like heat flashes but like thanks to the air. 
but anyways the last thing I feel like I've been experiencing is like breakouts in my skin but in places that I don't usually get breakouts so I know it's the birth control so to sum up what I just said the mood swings the heat flashes or sometimes the opposite the headaches and breaking out on my skin that is what I've been experiencing with the birth control but other than that um, it's it's like not that bad it's minor it's not as bad as it was when I got the next one on taken out before and I'm definitely gonna keep making these updates I'll probably make another one um, when I'm one month in just so that I can track what's been going on and you know make sure I learn how to manage it and stuff like that so if you're thinking about getting next one on I definitely say go for it but listen to your body because just because my symptoms are, are the way that they are doesn't mean you're going to experience the same symptoms you might experience worse symptoms you might experience better symptoms so I would say if that's the one that you've been leaning towards go for it but anyways back to the vlog I gotta be to class in 15 minutes so 14 minutes so I'm gonna put my shoes on I need to grab a snack cuz I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat dinner after class cuz I feel like that's just a better decision to eat dinner around like 630 and then I have a meeting to go to at 7 so I gotta make sure that I don't take too long to eat, but it, it usually doesn't take me too long to eat anyway. But yeah. I've really been forgetting to take my medicine, so uh, it's time to do that right this second. This is a new snack I'm trying. It's chocolate chip cookies by, and they're peanut free. They're gluten free, peanut free, and dairy free. So it's like literally perfect. They taste okay. They're not good. They're not bad. They're kind of mid. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I need to go away. Oh, I don't know why it's so hard to take those pills. Again, I'm not going to film in my class, but uh, just assume that I'm going to my class now. <laughs> 5.18 p.m. I just ran to class. I don't know why I'm always running late to my night classes. I'll remember this. I need to leave out at 4.55 p.m. Anyways, I'm in class now. I'll write more tonight. I'm just waiting on Fletcher. He's getting his food from he shows and then we're gonna eat together. But I gotta hurry up because I got a meeting to go to at 7 and I don't even know what time it is but I know it's close to 7 so I need to hurry up and eat my food like now. <laughs> Guess who's sitting with me? <laughs> right now, I just came from a meeting with the apartment people and now I am just talking with my roommates in the living area until my class starts. So yeah, I have another class on Wednesdays from 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So I'm gonna bring my camera with me. I'm not gonna record the class, but after class, I will finally be done with my first day the music major is a no joke I'm currently headed up to my class right now I talked to my roommates for a while and that was nice but it's time to go do some more singing you might be wondering Sadie why would you take a class this late and I was like I decided to take this class even though it was this late because I feel like I really need to immerse myself into music. Like, I really feel like I want to be good at music. I want to be the best at music even. Like, I want to be famous. I want people to like know my name. I want to be big. I want to be the best. So in order to be the best, you have to work the hardest. So now I'm doing a class from 9.30 to 10.30. And we'll see how I manage all my late hours. It's literally so dark outside, you can't even see me on the camera. This is sad. I'm almost to my class now. So I'm gonna put my camera away, but I will be back after my class to tell you how it went. It's only for an hour, so it's not too bad. So I'll see ya. Are you tired of your important pages falling out of your binder? Again? 
<laughs> Don't really feel like adding stickers or drawing pictures on your journal this time. Ah! Well, it's time for you to get a journal from MercedesHelford.com. Now that I'm writing in Mercedes Helford's journal, I feel so much better. Ever since I started writing in Mercedes Helford's journals, my manifestations have all come true. Ever since I started using Mercedes Helford's planners, I've gotten so much done. You need a journal. You need a journal. You need a journal from, from MercedesHelford.com. 10.54 p.m. OMG, it is so late and I am just getting back inside. I'm going to shower and head over to Fletcher's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know we keep having sleepovers, but what can I say? I enjoy his company. I'm just so happy the day is ending, but I'll be up bright and early for keyboard classes, though. I'm so excited. Also, I called the financial office, too. They said my account looks fine and I should get my refund check any day now. Hopefully it comes soon, because I need to get my books for classes ASAP. Anyways, I gotta go. I'll write more in the morning. <laughs>